I definitely see myself tattooing. I don't ever see myself not being a part of that. And... So my name is Mario Rose now. Uh, Art Junkies Tattoo here in Hysteria, California. Well, we're doing a bunch of portraits of family members, doing a whole leg sleeve. I got a lot of big, big, big tattoos that I started on, and hopefully uh, my goal is to finish a bunch of those this year, but I have uh, several sleeves going on, a couple back pieces that I'm really excited about. Yeah, it's kind of my focus this year is to really get a lot of these big projects done. I've been really working hard on a lot of them and stuff and I'm excited for people to see them so kind of let them see them when they're finishing up so. My parents had me in art classes when I was five years old so I mean art has been a big part of my life my whole life. I've always been into tattoos since I was 18 and I'd gone to art school and just really wasn't doing anything with it. A few years gone by and I just never really found my niche. Life kind of got in the way and ended up uh, dropping out of school and was looking at getting some more work done and just became really good friends with tattoo artists. and. She saw a bunch of the work that I did and asked if I wanted to learn how to tattoo and I just completely jumped on it. Found my home and my place tattooing. Been hooked ever since. Yeah, I apprenticed under Christian Pedroza. She was an artist that was doing a lot of my, my work. She was the one that took me under her wing and gave me my start. Yeah, eventually started dating Mike DeMossi and that's kind of how we all became, you know, together. I, I'd say it's, it's kind of a rounded mix. I mean, primarily we're really, I would say, all the portraits and the realistic style tattooing. It's really what I think our foundation here at the shop was. But I've really started to branch out and explore different things. I mean, I love new school tattoos. I love traditional. I love a lot of this neo-traditional stuff that's going on. I love the cartoon thing and I, I like I think I'm really still exploring that whole aspect, but I love doing really just bold, bright, colored tattoos. That's my favorite, but I, I love doing everything. I love doing black and gray. I, I just, you know, it's, hard, it's so hard to say when somebody asks you that question, you know? You know, it was kind of like a home remedy kind of a thing used to make in the shop and kind of had perfected the technique a little bit and was just making it for myself and the guys in the shop and one of the guys that used to work here said you should you should make this stuff and sell it so I was like all right I don't even know what I'm doing but I figured it out and basically set out on a journey and it was a it's been a really long process and you know it's all done through a lab and chemist teamed up with a big company and they broke it down and we made um, a stencil product that's totally 100% hyperallergenic and vegan friendly and safe to, to use. It's been a, a lot of fun and 
lots of new products coming out and it's, it's been great. I do uh, primarily oil paint. I do do some acrylics and some watercolors and, and that kind of stuff. I'm always dabbling. Um, I really got into doing a lot of digital painting and uh, trying to kind of learn and perfect a lot of those uh, techniques and stuff so I can kind of push things. But I'm always, it seems like I'm always uh, jumping around like, you know, you'll get all into one thing and then you'll go see somebody's amazing painting, oil painting, and then it's like, oh, I'm an oil paint, you know? Back on that, so it's like, you jump around so much, it's, it's pretty funny. I think in some aspects I like it more, but it's really hard to make the time for it, but this year, for sure, making it a goal to try to put as much time into that as I possibly can. I mean, first and foremost, you know, um, Mike Damasi has really inspired me. It's my brother, you know, so I get to work next to him every day, so obviously I'm super inspired. You know, all the guys that I work with here, you know, especially the crew that we have right now is super amazing and hungry and they're excited, you know, um, to really learn, you know, they're they're pushing us as well. But I mean, as far as my biggest, like, in the industry, guys that I like super, super look up to, would have to say Bob Terrell. You know, he's one of the guys really early on, you know, in my career. He really took the time to help me out. We've become really good friends, you know. Gunner is another big one. Jimmy Litwock and Joe Capabianca, both. Super, super inspiring to me. Tony Ciavara, another guy that just inspires me like crazy and he's just an awesome guy too, you know. Mike DeVries, we've worked together for a long time in stencil stuff and he worked here at the shop for a long time and, and there's so many out there that I can't even remember everybody, you know. Josh Woods, another big one. And then I, I think from a business standpoint, and, and he's an amazing artist too, is Ryan. Smith, you know, really look up to that guy a lot, you know, definitely get together and when we're talking business and vision and all those things, like, you know, I have definitely have a huge connection with him as far as it, when it comes to that kind of stuff in the industry, so. I definitely see myself tapped in. I don't ever see myself not being a part of that and, but um you know see myself painting a lot more you know and really still pushing as hard as i can you know in the industry to bring products to everybody that you know are you know useful and helpful and make tattooing a lot you know a lot easier better and safer you know for people in the industry and I hope that some of that stuff changes things for, for people and makes things makes it better, you know, and that's that's really my whole goal with stencil stuff and all that. And as an artist the same thing, you know, trying to get better. Hopefully doing things that are helping inspire other people, you know, and pushing them to to be better. Because I know I, I'm inspired and always trying to get better, you know. Real quick, Mario. Talk real quick. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> they sell dog food at PetSmart. Okay, Pet Fan just pointed on you. And a mister? What do you get? A mister? Uh, oh man, that would make a mess. Okay.